Hey people, so I thought I'd play through Resident Evil Remake um, for the simple fact that I've been wanting to play it for a long time but I've never actually got around to it so I'm going to finally do it even though it's quite late at night I've got a little bit of free time so about half an hour so I'm going to play some and I'm going to, going to do hiking difficulty which is pretty much easy mode I'm not very good at um, hard mode I'll use Chris I think Okay, I'll skip the long cut scene. You don't really need to see that. Enter the survival horror. Yeah, basically, I'm sure everybody knows anyway, pretty much. But um, the stars team go to investigate some gruesome murders, and they get chased into the mansion by some crazy dogs. For a better word, some crazy dogs chase you into a mansion, and um. Here we are. So here's this uninviting looking dining room. I actually really enjoyed playing through Resident Evil Zero as well. Um, and it's, that's got quite a lot of views now. Uploaded it last the end of the, towards the end of last June. It's got a lot of views. So I figure even though there's lots of plays of this on uh, on YouTube anyway, I'll just give it a go just for the fun of it because I don't know what to upload on my channel at the moment and uh, here's one of our residents he's ever so friendly look ah, oh, so thoughtful oh he just ripped out that guy's jugular vein <laughs> so yeah, you don't have to fight him actually, you can just run away wasted time Attempting to kill him. Yeah, we'll just run back. In uh, the original PS uh, PlayStation One version of this game, if you open these main doors in this room, you'd get a little cutscene of a dog poking its head through, trying to bite at you. <coughs> And when my, me and my friends first played this, we thought we'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll just open it to watch the cinematic. But in this version, a dog actually just runs straight in and attacks you. And was like, what the hell? So yeah, <coughs> I won't be doing that this time. And to be honest, this game, I think this is the most confusing app for me. Out of, out of 1 and 2. Um, yeah, out of 1 and 2, I think this one's more confusing. It's not too hard after you get past this first mansion part. But I think <clears throat> just the first mansion part is quite confusing. But once you get out into the garden, the game gets a little bit more linear and not too tough. <clears throat> That's what I think, anyway. <clears throat> and number three, I'm not a big fan of Resident Evil 3, to be quite honest. If you've played Lost in Nightmares, the download content for Resident Evil 5, you'll notice actually some of these room designs look slightly similar. There's some herbs in the corner of there. I don't know if they're on hard mode, but <coughs> they're on hiking mode, and I'm not going to bother with them, to be honest. I always find when I play through this on easy mode, I get more herbs than I need. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave some. I'm going to play a little bit risky. <clears throat> no, you don't want to touch that dirty corpse on the floor. Ah! <clears throat> yeah, so you got to do you got to pick this up. Sorry I keep coughing, by the way. I don't know what I've eaten. or I've eaten something or drank something and it's kind of lodged in my throat. Yeah, take those bullets. I'm not a fan of zombies, are you? Are you people? Are you a big fan of zombies? I'm not too fond when they try and attack you, to be honest. <coughs> no, so, oh yeah, we need this. These are automatic, well you can set them to automatic, so if a zombie grabs you can stab them straight in the head. Or uh, you can get grenades and you can stuff them in the mouth and the heads blow off. It's 
pretty pretty nice yes yeah, so push this statue ah oh my god don't you dare the knife is useless why would anyone use it I've, I've tried to use the knife and make use of it but it never I never managed to make, use it efficiently I always get, I get grabbed and killed I don't know why it's in the game apparently it's better in Resident Evil 3 the knife but still I tried and failed don't bother you little freak ah <laughs> cool so yeah a, a blue gem I think smashes out of the statue once you push it but you don't need to bother picking it up just yet it just takes up inventory space um, where do I go now? that's what a pro I am I can't even remember where I'm going at the start of the game <coughs> oh yeah you go down here Because I've been too busy talking, I didn't even realise actually I've collected a gun and ammo. I just wish I just wish there was a way to make use of the knife. Because I, I like the fact that the knife is so survival horror-ish. You know, it's just a simple weapon, but you can never seem to use it effectively. Yes, yeah, so you have to examine this arrow. Yeah, it comes off and then you use it. What a bizarre tomb. You put a little gem in it and it opens up. This is quite creepy. There's <laughs> some nice camera angles in this game. <laughs> what you do is you run over here. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the book of curse? Yes, you take the book of curse. And, and if you examine it, oops, examine the back. Yeah, we'll remove it. You get a key. Book of curse. The four masks, a mask that will speak no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Oh, well, do we really want to awaken evil? I might just skip that bit. But, um, I'm guessing that we're not allowed to skip that. We've got to awaken evil, unfortunately. So, back up here we go. I think you find some shotgun shells around here later on. I don't know how they get there. <coughs> there we go. I've already forgotten where the heck I'm going. Mansion key. So that's the sword key. Um, you can shove this little cabinet over to the statue and get um, a map out of the top of there, but I'm not going to bother to do it. I don't really need the map, I don't think. I don't think I need it. This is a nice little corridor. No, don't push that. Some ammo here. I think I might have missed one with a dagger underneath it, but I'm not too fussed. Cool camera angle. Hi Chris. <coughs> so yeah, we're going here. 
Looks like our old bathroom door. And it does actually lead to a bathroom. It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug. Yeah, why not? Put our hand in some dirty water. God knows what kind of diseases could be in it. Or corpses. I love it. I love how hygienic they are on this game. How they have baths and stuff. I think that's so cool. I just love how they have baths. Looking clean. I wonder if I can... I might have a go with a knife. Should I try the knife? It's never going to work, is it? But that's why I don't like the knife. It sucks. That's a good knife. Though. Why can't you just do that with this one? Seriously, dude. Get the hell off. You are pathetic. Right, I think he's dead. And there we go. A reason not to use the knife. Uh, I was willing to give the knife a go though. In we go. Uh, I didn't actually want that, but okay. Yeah, so get that. I advise you get this nice and hairy. I think I'll make the video about 14 minutes long, maybe. Uh, I've actually managed to get pretty far in this game without saving once. But, um... Probably about over halfway, but because of the camera, like time limitations, and only so much space on the SD card, I really need to get a new, a bigger one or something. I can't really go far without saving. Ah, oh, a freak! Right, let's just switch to the gun, shall we? What, what the? Do you mind spewing up on me, you sick individual? Hey! It's like he's dead. How did I shoot him up there, anyway? Are you dead, or what? Or was it a trick? No, you're not tricking me, young man. No, I think he's dead. Cool. No, I think that's the end of this part. And there's my first abused. And let's just do a bit of item arrangement. I love I, I love arranging items and stuff in Survival Oregon. I don't know why. I just get off on it, to be honest. I love it. Yeah, in this game you actually can burn the dead bodies so they don't reanimate later on as much quicker paced crazy zombies. So, um, I'll probably just burn those two bodies off camera. And I'll save the game here as well. And then um, we'll continue in the next part, I guess.